I'm a chartered accountant and a former director of finance and human resource of the world's fifth largest network equipment manufacturer called Allied Telesis International. Today, I'm talking about this topic of financial intelligence. Most of us, we want to be rich but wealthy, but what exactly is wealth? Well, it's actually two things. It makes up of two things. First thing is called cash flow. You have this thing called cash coming in year after year. And the other thing is this thing called value. That means you have an increase in profits. For an individual, your value will be your skills, your experience, whereby you can command higher remuneration. So if you have cash flow, you will have more value and you can reinvest it. In the end, you get more and more cash flow and you become wealthier and wealthier. So understand that cash flow can be passive or active. Active means you have to work to get the cash flow. Passive means you work one time and you can get cash flow year after year. That is the example of passive cash flow. And for a business, many people wonder, is cash flow very important? Let's put it this way, right? If you have no cash flow, basically you cannot expand your business. You will be handicapped. In fact, you will be like an individual. If there's no blood flowing, you will die immediately. But if blood is flowing very slowly or it's not flowing, you have this thing called stroke. You will die slowly. For a business, it's exactly the same thing. If there's no cash flow, the business will die slowly. So how do you get cash flow? You have to do this thing called weekly cash forecast. Weekly cash forecast whereby we forecast the cash coming in month after month or week after week. We know all the details. And to get the weekly cash forecast, we need to do this thing called accounts payable and accounts payable weekly forecast. That is an example of cash flow. Once again, my name is Andy Ng, today we are on this topic of financial intelligence. In the next video, we look at this thing called how can we increase our profits without increasing our sales and without cutting our cost by a single cent. With that, thank you. Bye-bye!